Welcome to the world of Putney Swope, a 1969 movie that's filled with surprises at every turn. This film isn't just another run-of-the-mill flick, it's packed with funny, shocking, and even sad moments that'll keep you glued to the screen. As you watch, you might find yourself wondering, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Or perhaps you'll be inspired to share a personal story of how this film has impacted your life. But before we dive into all of that, let's talk about what makes Putney Swope so special. Directed by Robert Downey S.R., the movie follows the story of an advertising agency that takes a bizarre turn when the chairman unexpectedly passes away during a board meeting. What happens next is a whirlwind of unexpected events, as the agency's token black executive, Putney Swope, finds himself thrust into the role of chairman. From there, things only get more outrageous as Swope transforms the agency into a haven for countercultural expression and social commentary. But don't just take our word for it. We want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Whether it's a funny anecdote or a heartfelt revelation, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comment entrance below. So keep watching, keep sharing, and let's keep the conversation going. The 1969 movie, Putney Swope, directed by Robert Downey S.R., was quite unconventional for its time. It took a humorous look at advertising and how different races are portrayed. Instead of following the usual path, the film dared to be unique. Critics and audiences found it intriguing. Some loved its originality, while others were confused, but no one could ignore it. The movie had a significant effect on popular culture. It challenged norms and sparked discussions about race, power, and the media. Its boldness encouraged other film lantrakers and artists to think outside the box and explore new concepts. Putney Swope developed a dedicated following leading to spin-offs and adaptations. Although none quite captured the original's charm, they managed to keep its spirit alive. Fans could also find merchandise like posters and DVDs, ensuring the movie's lasting presence. In the end, Butney Swope left a lasting mark. Its fearless style and thought-provoking themes ensured it would remain memorable for a long time. Though it may have been ahead of its time, its influence continues in cinema and beyond. In a groundbreaking film from 1969, Putney Swope, directed by Robert Downey S.R., the president and first lady roles are portrayed by real-life siblings Peppy Herman and Ruth Herman. This quirky comedy drama gained notable praise, becoming a favorite of comedian Louis C.K. Additionally, it marked the debut of actress Shelley Plimpton. The movie revolves around the unexpected turn of events when Putney Swope, a token black man in a predominantly white advertising agency, unexpectedly becomes the company's CEO after a series of unforeseen circumstances. Putney Swope's reign as the new CEO brings about radical changes in the agency, showcasing themes of power, race, and corporate satire. Throughout the film, viewers are treated to a unique blend of humor and social commentary, entry, making it a standout in cinematic history. The movie Putney Swope, released in 1969, carried an X rating for its first 18 months before receiving an R rating in December of 1970. Robert Downey S.R., the director, redubbed all of Arnold Johnson's lines because Johnson struggled to remember his lines during filming. In a 2000 interview, Marlene Clark, who played a topless stewardess in a spoof Kamala show, revealed it was her first experience with on-screen nudity. She and other actresses were misled by Downey, who assured them they wouldn't be visible, but Clark later realized they were prominently featured in the scene. Putney Swope, a film directed by Robert Downey S.R., gained recognition when it was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress in 2016. Notably, this movie marked Elzbieta Cizizuska's debut in the United States after fleeing Poland, where she had been a renowned actress. Cizizuska's presence adds depth to the film's ensemble cast. The movie is part of the Eclipse series 33 Up All Night with Robert Downey Sr. DVD set showcasing its significance in Downey's body of work. The storyline revolves around a Madison Avenue advertising agency whose African-American token employee, Swope, unexpectedly becomes the CEO. This satirical take on race, consumerism, and corporate culture in the late 1960s remains relevant today. Downey's bold and unconventional approach to film lamp-raking shines through in the movie's witty dialogue and unconventional narrative style, making it a standout in American cinema. In the movie, a 1959 Fiat 1 in 200 Grand View Spider stars as the Borman 6 car in a Kamalantrischel. 
At the film's outset, a Bell 47J2 Ranger helicopter, initially registered as N7032-13, makes an appearance. This helicopter, later re-registered as N49 and 89T, was notable for being the first used by a U.S. President, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Putney Swope's ride is a 1929 Rolls-Royce Phantom I, a car that could fetch over 100000 in excellent condition today. It's a classic, making for an elegant touch in the film. In Antonio Fargas' inaugural credited screen role, he portrays the Arab in Putney Swope. The movie features a distinctive 1959 Imperial Crown Imperial limousine used as the president's car, crafted by Ghia with a custom body and interior. Originally intended for Queen Elizabeth, the second's 1959 Canadian tour, this luxurious vehicle cost around 50000 equivalent to about 485000 today. It was part of a non-union labor production, with the film's total budget resting at 250000 as of 2016, the car was housed in a museum in Kuwait. Putney Swope offers a glimpse into unconventional film lamptraking and societal critique with memorable performances and unique production elements. Putney Swope, a film from 1969, holds significance in cinematic history as it's one of the five movies chosen by the Library of Congress for preservation due to its cultural, historical, and aesthetic value. Directed by Robert Downey S.R., it features a scene where a homeless man was hired for ten and four bottles of wine to bring authenticity to a garbage-strewn alley in Manhattan's Bowery section. The man's performance, drinking the wine and passing out on trash, added realism to the setting. Notably, the Mel Brooks appearing as Mr. Forget It in the film is not the same Mel Brooks known for other works. Released in 1969, Putney Swope shocked audiences with its bold and unconventional approach to film alignment the movie faced censorship due to its provocative content, which included satirical commentary on race, advertising, and corporate culture. Despite its critical acclaim, it had trouble reaching a wider audience because of its controversial nature. Directed by Robert Downey S.R., the film tells the story of a black man unexpectedly appointed as the CEO of an advertising agency after the previous chairman's sudden demise. It explores themes of race, power, and identity, challenging societal norms and stereotypes. Despite its groundbreaking approach, the movie faced backlash from censors who considered its content too provocative for mainstream audiences. This censorship limited its distribution and contributed to its relatively limited commentatorial success upon release. Nevertheless, Putney Swope remains a significant cultural artifact, known for its fearless exploration of taboo subjects and its influence on subsequent generations of film lamptrakers. Putney Swope, a film from 1969 directed by Robert Downey S.R., faced tough times getting shown to audiences. The movie had a mainly African-American cast and talked about race, buying stuff, and businesses. Even though critics liked it and it had a fresh viewpoint, lots of companies didn't want to put it out. They thought it was too controversial and weird. This shows how hard it was for film lamdrakers to challenge what was normal back then. Despite these problems, Putney Swope eventually found people who liked it and got noticed for its bold jokes and ideas about society. The story is about a guy named Putney Swope who ends up in charge of a big ad agency after a mix-up in the boardroom. As he deals with his new job, he sees racism and greed in the business world, leading to lots of funny and thought-provoking moments. The movie uses Putney Swope to show how important it is to fight against being just like everyone else and to stand up for what's right. It makes fun of the advertising world and makes us question what we think is normal. Even though it's funny, Putney Swope gives us a strong message about being ourselves and fighting for fairness. In the end, Putney Swope is a movie that broke the rules and talked about big issues. Even though it had a hard time at first, it's now a favorite for many and gets people talking about race, money, and going against the crowd.